It's Friday, March 31st, and one of the central figures in the now burgeoning field of virtual reality, Palmer Lucky, has decided to part with his new employer, Facebook, after just one year. Like any good tech entrepreneur, Lucky pieced together the first Oculus Rift headsets in his parents' garage, and from there developed, promoted, and toured the tech until Facebook snapped up the company in 2014 for $2 billion. However, he got tripped up by politics in the run-up to the 2016 election when he at first denied and then admitted to funding a pro-Trump troll group called Nimble America. The revelation roiled the Oculus Group just as the first headsets were coming to market, and he was also a focus in the Zenimax lawsuit that resulted in a half-billion-dollar settlement against Facebook, 50 million of which came out of Lucky's pocket. Don't cry too much for the 24-year-old VR icon, though. Conservative estimates put his net worth at close to $750 million. Where he'll end up next is the real question of the day. Okay, are you feeling fully informed about the new Samsung Galaxy S8? No? Well, hit the link for a full roundup and then turn your attention to the next big smartphone event because Apple's big new iPhone reveal is just five months away. Hot on the heels of Samsung's big show, fresh rumors are swirling about the 10th anniversary iPhone, which iDrop News claims a Foxconn insider told them will be called the iPhone Edition. That makes sense for a Halo phone because you can just keep on improving it and never have to rename it. iDrop News also mocked up some renders according to their new information, and one key change they claim to have seen is a vertically stacked dual camera. Why vertical? Apparently, that will work better with VR and or AR features on the phone. Additionally, iDrop says the fingerprint sensor will move to the back of the phone since the front will also feature dual cameras for facial recognition and other functions. The OLED display goes edge to edge horizontally, but small bezels cap the top and bottom. Look familiar? Also, the Foxconn source said the back of the phone will be metal and not glass. One thing we do know is that the specs for the iPhone 8, X10 edition are likely finalized by now, so work on actually making the phones can begin, so there's stock on hand for the expected September release. More rumors to come, count on it. Hey, it's Friday, which is movie night, and today's big opening is the live action version of the anime classic Ghost in the Shell, starring Scarlett Johansson. The movie's been dogged by criticism over Johansson's casting in a role many thought should have gone to an Asian actor, but the creator of Ghost reportedly signed off on the choice, so Hey, let's move on to whether it's going to be a good movie. The plot surrounds Johansson's character, called Major, who's a cyber-terrorist hunting cyborg with a human brain looking for a hacker out trying to mess with a powerful AI run by a robotics company. Doesn't get much more anime than that. The movie's effects look insane, of course. We'll have to see if the story holds up. Our TV and movie podcast Between the Streams will have more on Ghost in the Shell later today, so be sure to catch that. And that's it for DT Daily today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We'll be back again next week.